What is going on, geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with episode 5, our fifth day in the Rusty Lake Hotel. This game, for those that are just tuning in, has some real kind of graphic cartoon violence. Uh, it's quite gory. There's poop, at least in the last episode. But in this one, we're setting off to find Mrs. Pheasant. And I know her recipe involves white wine, which I picked up in the end of the last episode. I've been doing these a bit out of order, and it prevented me from getting the perfect score that I was hoping for. Where's the pheasant? Was she on one? I hope she's on one. We'll head to fl first floor, and we'll check out what awaits us here. I can't remember. This one? I think she's dead ahead. Yes, enter the room of Miss Pheasant, who's here for a photo shoot, apparently. We're going to take some sexy pictures of her. Right, with a backdrop. Hmm, the backdrop has a grid on it. Interesting. Interesting is how I pronounce that word, you see? It's interesting. Okay. Whoa. Huh. Alright. Uh, well, we'll look around until we figure something out. So, symbol... Square, triangle, squiggly, swirly. All right, we got to figure out that code for sure. This is another blank canvas, as it seems is this. Either of them have anything hiding under the edges? No. Nope. But we have a set of drawers. Bottom drawer, paintbrush, magnifying glass, and matches. Interesting. What what waits us out here? Ah, the camera. Oh. Something is missing. Interesting. Another? Oh, that's perfect. That is freaking perfect. This key goes where? Right here? What? Okay, we got to figure out where this key goes because I thought it was that spot. Yes, one of these two locks. Which involves a hat. Okay, so we're... Oh. Swirly, musical note, swirly. Play. Oh. These are maybe equal to the grids on the back of that painting? It's a little music box. And it should play notes, but it doesn't. And we got this. Hello! Couple little puppets. What do you think of me? Oh, yeah? Your hat is stupid. You think my hat's stupid? Yours is red and pointy. Oh, yeah? Well, you look like a grandma. Oh, yeah? Well, you look like an elf. Uh. The hats don't go on here. Interesting. So, oh. So, lady in blue is a cross. Whatever that means. Mr. Crow is two straight swipes, and Mr. Owl is a squiggle. What else was here? Pen and a letter. Rusty Lake Theater presents Sunday, the 8th of August. The Memories of the Lake. A dramatic story about past and future featuring the pheasant as Lady in Blue. Miss Oh, Miss Pheasant as Lady in Blue. Miss Pheasant as Mr. Crow. And Miss Pheasant as Mr. Owl. Maybe we need to take pictures of her as these three people? Huh. Hello. Okay, so we just need some pheasant breast. We gotta figure out how to kill the woman. And we gotta figure out what time to put on this clock. Okay. Uh, and we got photo liquid. Photo liquid. All right, how about wearing this hat, darling? Interesting. Now, paintbrush. Huh. I guess I gotta find the paint and carve and paint. Whoa. Oh, I've got one of the two items required. That maybe because that light came on. Interesting. And I haven't seen those symbols elsewhere, so where am I supposed to. Oh, maybe I paint the paintings? 
No. Something is missing. Interesting. I'm, I must be... Look at these with a magnifying glass. No. Okay, I've reached one of those moments of stumptitude where the game has befuddled me. What do I do? Look at this window. Open this window. Hello, hand. Close the... Huh. Right. A blood brush. So if she's going to be the lady in blue, which she appears to be now, I think that involves the cross. I still have no idea what those mother effing puppets are all about. Huh. That works. All right, let's go take a picture of this lady. Something is missing. Damn it. Damn it. Damn photo liquid. What the hell's photo liquid? Photo liquid add. Nope. Something is missing. Take my, please take my picture. What are these all about? Maybe I had to get the fan in the right position? That seems stupid. Uh. Ah, the photo liquid goes in there. And this card. Oh, can be put, have stuff put on it. If I can figure out what the pattern is supposed to be. This one has got me. Whew. All right, let's go see if the camera works. I don't think it will, but we'll have a look. Something is missing. All right, fine. I use my brain. I'll figure it out. Dry glass plate. Put it in the liquid. Take it out of the liquid. Wet glass plate, which now goes where? In the camera? There we go. Weird. Hmm. So she is circle, triangle, squiggly. We'll take the photo too, I guess. And maybe we put the photo in the developing liquid or we put the photo in the frame. Wet glass plate, weird. Okay. So circle, triangle, S. And that code gets entered into this box. Guys, this is feeling like it might be a longer one. I'm struggling so far. Get unlocked. There. A crow mask. Perfect. So we go over to her. We put on... The crow mask. Put this on your face. I'll take my damn hat back. I'll wear the hat. Whatever that fan does. Okay, so we have one of the two items. Mr. Crow. Ooh. I wonder if instead of a fan, you might hold a magnifying glass. No. Maybe Mr. Owl's all about the magnifying glass. Because it hasn't done anything for us yet. Mr. Crow involves two straight lines... Not down the middle. So let's, uh, let's see if we can't do that. Not my smoothest work, but it'll do. Perfect. Alright, UTC gonna be taking a damn picture now. Wet glass plate. Put it in there. Put it in there. Ready? <coughs> Snap the photo! And you get him in the woods, having served me that crazy opium dream. I'll take you, I'll take your wet glass plate, whatever that means. Once I put you, I guess, in a photo frame. And hopefully something will be revealed and we'll get... Yes, the clock is at either 3.30 or 6.15. 3.30, I think. 
That's why there's a shorthand and a longhand, so you can tell the difference. Ding! What are you? What the hell are you? A rolling pin? Small rolling pin. Okay, stop with that annoying noise. I wonder if Mr. Crow is all about the rolling pin. No. Okay. We've already got the Mr. Crow photo, so now we need to use the rolling pin to get whatever the hell comes next. Here, smack him with it. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a Punch and Judy. That's what this is. I recognize it now. Give me the axe. Give me the tomahawk. Give me the hatchet. What do you call it? A small axe. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. The small axe will be used for... <sighs> something. Really don't know. Please take my picture. Okay, well, we need to find the damn Mr. Who's the other character in this play? Mr. Owl. So we need to find the Mr. Owl dealie. I can't unlock you. I think. I've got to solve that one. How do I solve that one? Where is the key to that puzzle? Maybe it's in the third photo. Maybe it's in the third photo, so I need to... Huh. I just noticed that this isn't an axe. This is a small axe. That's what I thought. Beat her to death. Split her open. <laughs> Chop her. Yeah, totally to bits. What is left? It is a small torch. Light the small torch. Put this, take the axe back, put the small torch in Judy's hand, light it. Now what? Light him on fire. He burns up, leaves a key. How weird. Use the key to get in here, which will give us what, an owl mask? Yes, it will. Okay, an owl mask, and I've already done a very poor job painting the squiggly lines behind. I mean, we could make that look better, I'm sure. I think that's pretty good. Looking pretty good. All right, that's fine. We'll put you in your owl mask, you cutie. Get put in there. And then we'll take your photo. Let's get this thing all puffed up so you're looking good. Got both lights on. Throw the wet glass plate in the camera. Let it drop. Take the photo. Cha-ching, Mr. Owl. Oh, yes, I knew it wasn't random. Okay, so... Okay, back we go. Put this in the last photo frame, which is here. Get our wet glass plate back and use the magnifying glass. Yeah, so, so five, four, three. Yeah, I'll just scribble it down. Five, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, one, three. No way I was getting that randomly. Way too many probabilities and possibilities. Oh, but we finally cracked it. The small axe thing. I don't know why, but I assumed the axe, it, it was meant, small axe meant hatchet or something. I don't know why I thought that. So, what was it? Give me it. Four, oh, I was already on the right track. Four, three, two, three. Four. Three, two, one, three. I didn't have to move that many. Whoops. Get put in there. Get wound. Cha-ching! And that's the big key. The big key, of course, is going to unlock this little box right here. Which is going to give us something. It's going to give us some magical secret. It's a pistol. It's a straightforward pistol. We're going to shoot this <laughs> This pheasant, this pheasant straight in the face. Get shot. Oh. Do it. Guys, be prepared. This game has animated cartoon gore. Please take my picture. You got it. 
This is gonna be a ugly ass picture. I ready? <clears throat> Yo, Jesus. And I guess that does it. Little pheasant meat. We've done it. A perfect, perfect recipe. What a weird and creepy game. I have so enjoyed playing Rusty Lake Hotel so far. This, of course, is episode 5. We're about to find out if there's more to this game. Maybe a potential episode 6. I know there's only 5 dinners, so... Get to work, my friend. That's a three-star recipe right the hell there. You get cooking. I will see you out in the lobby, good man. I will see you back. Oh, the fifth dinner. <laughs> Mr. Crow, you should bring this last dinner to Mr. Owl. Right, because there's no damn people to serve it to. Oh, Lord, guys. Mr. Owl, we have got another day. We have got one more mission. Cool. So... I'm gonna take this, give me this key, I'm um, gonna put it in a box, and this will give us what we need to go see Mr. Owl, I'm guessing. No? Really? We are supposed to go see Mr. Owl in his room and serve him a fine meal of pheasant with white wine and whatever the hell else I found in the last episode. Thyme, I think, perhaps? Rosemary? Something to that effect? Bellhop Kitty, take us to the top. We have one room left. This game has been creepy and fun and very strange, and this was a private room. Yes, we would love to enter the room of Mr. Owl. Cool. Uh, I'm sure there's some crap for us to figure out in this one. He's a good-looking dude. Hello, sir. There we are. The last dinner. The last dinner, indeed. You expect me to serve it to you? Thank you for all the memories. <laughs> you are creeping me out, man. The lake will be grateful. The lake will be grateful. Take a look at the black cubes, would you? This game, this series of games, always has to do with cubes. It's like a logo for the Rusty Lake people. So we got the boar, the pigeon, the pheasant, the rabbit, and the deer. All dead. Speaking of black cubes, all right, that's a man. With deer antlers, this, some sort of weird, spiky pig bear. That's a bat. That's a bat bellhop now. What happened to you? I thought you were a kitty. I honestly thought you were a cat. Get him out of his uniform and you realize he's a creepy ass bat. There's a rabbit. There's a creepy evil rabbit. Yep, there's pi uh, pheasant and pigeon. May I take these skulls? What do you have in store for me, sir? Speak with me. The memories are not only the key to the past, but... The key... Also to the future. To the future. Have a look. A white cube. Ooh. Oh, that gives me shivers. They both disappear into the opium mist. Hi, creepy deer. That's a weird noise, and it's freaking me out. Are you the boar? You might be the boar. Get evaporated. Disappear before my very eyes. And you, I recognize you, Miss Pheasant. Disappear disappear. Now what? Oh! That's an elevator. And inside is a man. And we... Whoa. I can't click on these fast enough. I'm not supposed to. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Strange. So strange. To be continued. That's it! Um... That's a whole game. Ah, uh, so much for my farewell at the end of episode 5. I promise you I will tack this on to the end of episode 5 instead of making a, uh, <laughs> a four-minute video. But that was it. 
Uh, to be continued, this was a $2 game. It only cost me, uh, I think, a buck eighty-six Canadian, and our dollar isn't all that good right now, so I don't know how cheap it would be for the rest of the world. Probably quite. Um, that was well worth it. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that day six didn't turn into more, because that last scene was rather confusing, and it kind of left me a little bit hanging, but for two bucks, it's hard to complain. I got five fun episodes out of the Rusty Lake Hotel, and I thank you guys for checking out my Let's Play. I, as always, am Unite the Clans, and I'll be back with you guys with more videos and probably another brand new Let's Play series in the next few days. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me guess, old lady wants some fish? Grilled fish, yeah, I thought so. You go in here, close that, open that, take the grilled fish, too hot, of glove, take the grilled fish, close the door, Go give this old lady. What well, old damn Mother Hubbard, eh? Grilled fish. Yeah, I'm giving you grilled fish. Yeah, eat that whole thing. You are a greedy old woman. Knit me something amazing. <laughs>